Hello. So remember this. So this is exactly six weeks ago when I uh, visited the house during my holidays. And look at this. Oh, it's unrecognizable. All the weeds and everything. Remember this place was uh, empty for about a year during the lockdown. So, you know, it is what it is. And as you can see there, ooh, gee, it looks like a jungle. <laughs> Anyway, I had that cleaned and uh, yeah, I hired a couple of guys to uh, take all the rubbish out, all the old furniture and stuff. And uh, yeah, we did a mini garage sale. And right, right after that, I came back to Melbourne after the holidays and I started drawing up my plans to renovate the place. Okay, true enough. And that's real. We had a lot of uh, messenger uh, conversations over the period of uh, September and uh, all hands uh, on deck I guess on this one but yeah we basically was my go-to guy so everything uh, from purchasing uh, deliveries uh, instructions we uh, did it on the uh, Facebook messenger this is the first time too that uh, we ever had to, uh, I guess, work together. So from uh, canvassing uh, prices on the internet, uh, choosing the colors, the material, and of course the price was all done through Messenger. So here are the boys. Uh, they were uh, installing the pipes, sanitary pipes. And as you can see, we had a uh, four guys uh, doing uh, uh, highly skilled uh, jobs and the rest uh, around six of them are just uh, labor yeah over here uh, the uh, partition is being uh, put up I had the uh, toilet separated so there's uh, one dedicated toilet for the uh, master's bedroom while uh, the other one is for the uh, uh, for the entire house so originally there was only one toilet yeah and now we have two okay so here are the uh, guys putting on the uh, concrete laying down the concrete and uh, yeah we made a little bit of uh, revisions over here uh, we didn't anticipate uh, the doorway was uh, too close to the shower head so location of the hot shower so we had it uh, basically uh, moved to a different place of the toilet so we had to reroute everything <laughs> but yeah it was just a minor thing so yeah so the guys had to dig up again the floor and uh, reposition the uh, the pipes but yeah it was it was no big deal it was just too I uh, you know, just uh, divert. Okay, here are some more messenger conversations. Deliveries. Okay. Yeah, the deliveries come up here. Uh, finally, the first. Uh, delivery of tiles and uh, cement for the toilet and the uh, vinyl for uh, the living and kitchen and of course uh, with the tile thing if uh, one of them is broken you cannot use it so we had to count everything before we accept the uh, delivery so there you go so they already uh, put up the wall partition wall remember guys this is uh, pure concrete so there's no plaster in there so that's the uh, yeah so they had to put uh, some holes on the uh, old wall so the new cement and tiles will uh, will hold okay so here you can see uh, the uh, the tiles have been put put up and uh, they're just uh, making sure that it's even, of course. And I had to watch this 
all on uh, Messenger, which is uh, yeah, freaking amazing. Yeah. Look, man, we got a lot of uh, specialists in there. Also, we had to use uh, wheels, tuk tuk, to uh, go to the hardware and uh, do some mini runs to uh, pick up some uh, raw materials. Okay. While they were doing the uh, toilet, some of the guys started uh, peeling off the uh, kitchen table. Mm. Oh, there you go. And uh, we had a 60 by 120 uh, tile installed on the uh, yeah on and the new design. So these are just all uh, you know discussed uh, on the spot. Okay, anyway, on, on this uh, side, we discovered that the roof drain is blocked with uh, leaves and other debris. So we had to uh, fix it quickly or else it will uh, flood the uh, plywood outside the house. As you can see, there's a hole in there already. The water absorbed it. So yeah, we found the root cause over here. Uh, one of the pipes is cracked. So the... The uh, carpenter decided to uh, put sealant around it to f uh, yeah, make sure it doesn't contaminate the wood. Okay. So that's wheel doing the uh, supervision uh, here's another uh, uh, scene from uh, the hardware runs okay we're using wheels uh, tuk tuk again tricycle to purchase some uh, cement and plywood so there's the uh, kitchen finally done here's some conversations from the supply <laughs> okay finally the uh, toilet is taking uh, shape some finishing touches from the uh, master uh, carpenter that was uh, Mervin he's the guy who's uh, the lead uh, foreman I guess contractor those are all his uh, men basically his uh, background is uh, he's a painter anyway there you have it so it all looks brand new now uh, we got the lavatory, toilet bowl, and the tiles installed from wall to the floor. Okay, so all rooms painted white. I just added uh, uh, painted one color, so keep it simple, I guess. Anyway, that's trendy at the moment. <laughs> the white glossy uh, paint. So it's double coated okay so that's how it looks like outside at the moment there's some uh, uh, leftover stuff cement gravel and uh, sand in yeah we're gonna use it for outside work there you go there's some uh, pictures that we posted up on Facebook so while they were uh, doing the renovations uh, Will and I uh, decided to uh, Put the place up for rent, advertise it straight away while we were waiting for the job to finish. So this is how it looked like. Uh, we had it uh, posted live on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It, yeah, it only took them a day, by the way, to install the vinyl uh, flooring for the kitchen and living. And it was raining during that time, so they couldn't do much. So they decided to install the vinyl okay so here are the photos that we put up uh, on the public uh, public site marketplace so that's how the uh, perimeter of the house looks like and that's the interior which is the main event you know we have new toilets fully uh, renovated uh, interior of the house so every room is uh, yeah Freshly painted. We have an AC in there. Uh, old AC. Yeah, some cabinets. And some uh, electrical supplies. And that's the kitchen too. The new kitchen. There's a lavatory. Yeah. 
There you have it. Uh, we decided to put this up early before the job finishes, so it gives us a little bit of lead time uh, in case some people uh, want to come and uh, inspect the place, uh, which they did. All right. Here's some uh, other angles. So, so they're putting up the uh, hot shower unit there now. So we had two hot shower units installed on each the toilet. Next is the electricals. So I had Will purchase some electricals and uh, had the electrician installed it. Here is another video that I've created to uh, yeah, advertise the place on Facebook. Okay, so that's the uh, master electrician that we hired. He installed uh, an exhaust fan for the uh, toilet with no window. That's necessary. And we had all the old fluorescent lamps replaced with a LED. Light emitting diode lamps. Yeah, there you go. So inside and outside of the house. Okay. Over here, Will is uh, painting some uh, stuff that were uh, missed, or oh, not exactly missed by by the uh, uh, painter, but uh, this these were the old uh, marks of the fluorescent lamp. There you go. There you go. Okay, so new sockets. Oh, so we have new sockets in there. Mm. Over here, Will is saying, uh, oh, they look like a modern design. And it uh, looks safe. With matching uh, switches to complement the uh, newly re renovated house. Okay. And uh, over here, uh, Will is testing the uh, yeah the new lamps. <laughs> and he says it's really bright. We're using a 20 watts and 30 watts. So there's the new vinyl tile, the new lights in the toilet, the final, and the new kitchen, and some cabinets. All right. Okay, the final touches. So in uh, I guess uh, this is a tribute to. Our old man, this is uh, his last project, uh, the basketball court. So he never finished, uh, wasn't able to finish it. So I, I said, okay, I think it's just fitting that uh, I finished the basketball for him. And uh, yeah, I ordered an acrylic backboard to uh, complete the uh, basketball uh, yeah basketball uh, stand or ring 
he actually borrowed money from me during the pandemic. I don't know, he got bored or something. And he told me, oh, Gina, I need some money. I'm building a basketball court. I thought he was lying, but nah. Well, there you go. Basketball court, finally installed. Woohoo! And yeah, true enough, we have a new tenant moving in October 2022. Yay! Thank you. The end.